Cortex thinks that Engine might be able to help. Nation floats upon the briny blue. We must reach Engine's battleship and quickly before it sets sail. But how? Think, Cortex, think. So they take a little, little snowboard ride over to Engine's battleship. So Crash goes on over there, and he gets two more crystals, and it's time. To the Psychotron! You monster! Let my brother go! But then suddenly Coco comes back, and is very mad at Cortex. She accidentally destroys the Psychotron. Ruined! Thanks to Perky here. Must be repaired, and only one person can help. My niece, Nina Cortex. Isn't she delightful? So you'll have to go back, you'll have to go over to Nina Cortex's school. So you go over there, run into Dingo Dial, who heard about the treasure and really wants it. Back to the airship. Make sure it's mooring rope that's secure. Oh my god. Find Nina Cortex. Nina! I'm sure of my auntie. And found us! Through the airship! Quickly! And meanwhile, Cortex defeats. Because this is the school he used to go to. Wait, I think I remember now the way it happened. The Cortex remembers who the, who the evil twins are. They were his pets when he was trying out the Evolvo Ray. It was my first experiment with the Evolvo Ray. Phase one in my plan to create an army of super animals. The test subjects, my two pet parrots, Victor and Morris. Unfortunately, they actually zapped them into a different dimension. The tenth dimension. How I missed those twins. And how I long to see them again. But be careful what you wish for, young man. Back off, Grandpa! For your wish will come true. Bab. And Nina Cortex fixes it. And it's time to go into the tenth dimension. Come now, as we explore our new dimension! And so they do. And they meet evil crap! And now it's time because Nina Cortex was kidnapped by Evil Crash. And Crash and Cortex will have to chase them down. Think Cortex, think! For snowboarding again. Run to the family! And there's some more chasing going on with Cortex and Evil Crash. Finally, after that, you reach the Evil Twin's stronghold when they went in it. I, I almost forgot the treasure. Ah, treasure. Yes, we are rich. Personally, I don't care. But I think he might want his gems back. <laughs> hmm. And now it's time for the final battle. Your failed experiment sent two innocent parrots to the 10th dimension! That's it, Cortex. You want to make up for lost time and play with your pets? So be it. Nina, Crash, and Cortex all take, take it on. Take them on. And, and on this giant monstrosity. 
Whoa! Well, I guess uh, three is better than one, right? Yeah. But I guess it also helps that Crash gets to use the Mecha Bandicoot. Wow! The Mecha Bandicoot! <laughs> so, get driving! I thought that thing was destroyed. It was left in the cavern all at once. I don't know. It really makes sense. Yeah. So, you defeat the evil twins, of course. Yeah, of course. I kind of said that. I said. Yeah. And the evil twins end up at Evil Crash's house and are eaten. And that's the last you'll ever see of them. That's the last of them. <laughs> For gameplay! Woo! Gameplay! Woo! Woo! Yeah! The gameplay! There's a multitude of new mo uh, new stuff for the boxes. TNTs and nitros have a horrible explosion that will kill you no matter what. This is so on the gems. Because the gems are like scattered around and hidden. And the nitros help guard them. Oh, snowboarding or awkward. And you can play as all the characters. You can play as Crash. Crash and Cortex together, which lets you throw Cortex over, having a, a super twin sanity spin. Wow, that's why they call twin sanity. And Cortex and Crash team up together, that's twin sanity. That's insanity, if you ask me. Was that like a joke? And when you play as Cortex, you can use his wonderful laser gun. This is so great. And when you play as Nina, she has robot hands, which let her grab onto rings and, and swing and swing across. Oh, like Spider-Man! What, uh, what in the world is that? Oh, well, I couldn't really get a picture of Spider-Man since he's not real. So I had to uh, use my wonderful artist statistic talents. Isn't it great? Looks just like the real thing, doesn't it? Um, uh, no. When you're playing as the Mecha Bandicoot, you get a nice rock on shirt. But this is a free roaming world, which means there's no warp room or anything. It just lets you go anywhere you want, anytime you want, as long as you have it unlocked. Wow! <laughs> this is the first game where Clancy Brown stopped voicing Cortex. Instead, Lex Lang took his place. All the music in Cr the Crash Twin Sanity was completely made humans. It was all human noises. Spiral Mouth Company. Prepare yourself for the prototypes of Twin Sanity. This game is probably the game with the most things cut out ever. Maybe. Nina originally had red hair and had a um, little lab coat similar to Cortex's. And also, did you know this? Nina was originally intended for Crash Nitro Kart. She was gonna be in there, but in uh, Twin Sanity or here. Hey, this is really weird. Handheld game had Nina in it before Twin Sanity. It's probably because they were um, thinking it was already a Nitro Kart or something. But you'll find out more about that later. Cortex originally had a UFO thing that would um, do stuff. Also, check out this angry, creepy face that never made it past the drawing board. Well, <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. And Sanity Island would begin as usual, but when the cavern levels, you would go straight to the farm because the farm used to be down low. It was didn't used to be high, so you go to the farm and then you would go to the natives, and then there was a cave that led from the natives to the tiki boss. Uka Uka fight was outside. Cortex would go with Crash toward Engine's ship and also would have Coco's disguise as seen by this cutscene right here. I thought it best if I came in disguise. We don't want to attract the wrong kind of attention. Now that's my kind of woman. Ahoy, my golden siren of the deep. I shall shower you with pearls and make you my sea bride. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Cortex? How confusing! There was a Tokum Hokum sea level, which would be similar to the bees chasing Cortex, but it, instead it would be something else, and it would be down by, uh, near the water, and there would be sewer stuff. 
Cortex would explain how to activate the ball thing. Actually intended to activate the Psychotron. Listen to Cortex, he'll explain it. To confibulate the Psychotron, these six disjunctional gobber forms must be interphasified with the positron receptors before the quantum dilation stage calamitizes. Uh, push the balls into the holes as quickly as possible.